The one John brought this first Oh, okay. You've got a mark. normal part of an adult diet. The Easter mm -hmm. time and back is sure capable of injecting a huge amount of okay? toxic venom. A serious bite by this snake to an adult, or even worse, to a child, can rapidly be fatal if not treated promptly and properly with antibiotics. I how dangerous this snake was. The Reptile Discovery Center and Medtoxin Venom Laboratories work closely with one or two other institutions that it or another? providing this venom for the anti-venom project and respiratory arrest. Sometimes as little as 10 to 20 milligrams of venom is a lethal dose for an adult. As you watch the monocle cobra bite, they are routinely producing over 100 milligrams of venom during a single extraction. Cobra venom is rich in a host of proteins and toxins which have varied uses in biochemical research. Monocle cobra venom is used not only to make antivenom, but is currently being used in viral research, organ transplant work, to the Indian cobra, are still responsible for many snake bite deaths each year. Ranging over a large part of Southeast Asia, Thanks. The monocle cobra is still quite common in many areas. Runner. Eastern United States. This snake is found throughout the coastal plain from eastern Texas to southeastern North Carolina and is still common in many of these areas. His close relatives, the northern copperhead, broad-banded copperhead, Osage, and Transpecos copperheads can be found from west Texas parts of the Great Plains, up the Mississippi River. Copperheads. Copperhead bites, although almost never fatal, still involve swelling, significant pain, nausea, and sometimes Thank tissue you, destruction. No Antivenom is only used sometimes in copperhead envenomations. Go. Thing. The southern copperhead produces a venom long sought after by researchers. Mm. This venom contains an important in cellular adhesion. These properties have taken this protein into a variety of cancer research. A Watch as the snake is gently captured and one of our favorite Florida natives is actually found from extreme okay. southeastern North Carolina throughout the coastal plains to extreme southeastern Louisiana yeah, you know. throughout all of peninsula Florida and many of its barrier islands. Unfortunately, the eastern diamondback has been extirpated in parts of its former range and is in decline in many areas where it was once common. This magnificent reptile is found in a variety of habitats and often coexists with a large number of other species in gopher tortoise. Sorry, let's try a different drawer. Sorry, Randy. Uh, sometimes they cooperate and sometimes they don't.
everything all up. Just to let you know, this is just helping because we got a, I got a lot of the other stuff, but I can get some. I totally understand. Just audio, totally like more understand. than anything. So. Yep. That is beautiful. Am I okay where I'm at? Say it again? Am I okay where I'm at? Perfectly fine, yep. And you just tell me if you want to moved or yeah if you can just keep them entertained there's some snakes faster than others oh thing. yeah and some you know randy about a third of what we have or what we call hooders. They'll do this and they'll stay focused and they'll stay up and people can get pictures and see that. And, and then about two thirds of what we have are what we call runners and they'll hit the table and they'll, they'll hood for a second, but they're gone. Really? Um, and typically the runners are far more difficult to work. They're faster, they're more agile, they're more, not always, but so we always try to finish a program with somebody like this who's gonna hood and stay hooded. Mainly so people can see it and take pictures. You know, when people, you say Cobra, that's what they think. So, and some of these guys are really, I mean, just say game snakes. They're lightning fast there, but this guy's reasonable. But they are capable of just taking off on you on a, without even knowing well, it's Well, yes and no. I mean, I can always catch them, but um, when a snake really wants to move, you know, I always think my classic line is my colleague said to me once, you know, they catch mice, and I don't know if you've ever seen a mouse want to move when it's scared, but snakes are built to, you know, I always think to myself, I can move more quickly, but I'm totally kidding myself, no way. So that it all becomes a distance equation. What kind is this again? What's it? What? Monocle cobra. Monocle. Yep, or Asian cobra. Okay, sir, that's good. Good. Thank you. That's a beautiful snake. It really is gorgeous. idea here is I want to get away. Leave me alone. And you really can't blame them, can you? Oh, of course not. You know, I always think they spend most of their lives dark and quiet and, you know, 
So, and then all of a sudden this giant has them by the tail. Think about that, I know. You know, so they don't get it. Oh, he's a real man. Extreme care is taken. You good, Randy? Watch him, baby. Hold on. He's got to straighten that. Don't change anything. I'm off him for a second. Yeah. Hold on one second. You can get that audio. I need you higher here. Tell me when. Ready? Good. Don't change anything. That a girl. I think I dumped a bunch on the table. You did? Okay, I think so. I had some dripping yeah, down. There's on the right. Okay. You want me to pull it or not? Nope. Nope. It's good. Okay. Can you jump? Nope. nope. Yeah, maybe. Okay. That are capable of producing large quantities of it. The Asiatic and his close relative, the Indian cobra, oh, are still sad. responsible for many snake bite deaths each year. Ranging over a large Thanks, part man. of Southeast Asia, the monocle cobra is still quite common in many areas. And resulting in paralysis and respiratory arrest. Sometimes as little as 10 to 20 milligrams of cobra venom is a lethal dose for an adult. As you watch the monocle cobra bite, they are routinely producing over 100 milligrams of venom during a single extraction. Cobra venom is rich in a host of proteins and toxins which have varied uses in biochemical research. Monocle cobra venom is used not only to make antivenom, but is currently being used in viral research, organ transplant work, Neuromuscular chemistry, and the list Thank goes you. on. Most cobras make long lived and hardy captives. Many of the cobras you see here He's a great snake, that snake. Good.